Good morning. Today is the day before Thanksgiving and I was thinking to myself, why don't I video? Because it's a little bit different um, than a normal day. Uh, this year I'm hosting Thanksgiving and I'm gonna have 15, maybe 16 people in the house. And um, Ryan and I have been working hard to get the house like in visitor shape. Um, so we really took time to clean. He cleaned windows for me. He cleaned the main bathroom. He did like a really nice deep clean. And um, there are other things he did too. He really cleaned up our garage. Let me show it to you guys. The garage has become his new, um, ooh, his new like retreat in the evenings. It's a quiet place for him. And it's an area where he's been able to set up more of his retro stuff. And he got himself a space heater out here and he's just been living his best life. So this is the status of the garage. You can see he's got one of his retro situations. He's got a whole bunch of chairs and tables in that back corner that he um, borrowed from his work. And then he's got his little like uh, prepping station. He does things over there like fix anything we break in this house to little hobbies like his um, cars he has over here. Um, and then he has his other retro gaming stuff over here. So all that stuff was crammed in the front room and he really opened up the front room. Um, so our plan is to actually have the feast out here. We're going to take these tables and then just line them up down the middle of the garage and have everybody pull up a seat so we can eat a big meal together. Um, I'm really looking forward to that and I love that it's not super formal because that's just not who I am as a person. Um, I'm not an aesthetic channel so if you're here for that, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> That's not me. Um, anyways, yeah, and then, you know, my pantry. It's like, it's a it's a garage, but it doesn't smell like a garage out here. It's got like wax warmers. It's cozy because of this little guy. So anyways, that's, that's the plan for the meal. Today I started writing down um, what I want to get prepped, fully prepped today and then what I want to partially prep to make tomorrow go easier, and then a list of things that um, just have to be made tomorrow. And I started listing time frames and um, like temperatures on things, so I know kind of how to maneuver around the kitchen. I need to look at the weight of my turkey. I got a big baby in here. <laughs> she was $50. Um, but I need to look at the weight of that and then um, figure out how long to cook. Hi, baby. What's up? You found a warhead? Those are sour. Um, so yeah, that is the plan. I'm going to take you guys through preparing uh, some of the foods and then I'll probably pick up the camera a little bit tomorrow to kind of end out this vlog and just show some of the, I don't know, memories being made on Thanksgiving because I know that our house is gonna be full of family and love and I'm so excited about that. Before I get started in the kitchen, I'm gonna go ahead and fold this tub of laundry. I got a video exporting this morning. I just wanna tell you guys, I've been having a really hard time with exporting videos lately. I thought it was space so I deleted a whole bunch of stuff off my laptop and then I was having issues with one clip and of course it was an intro clip to a video and I was having a really hard time getting it off my phone to the computer. It kept referencing my phone so I found a loophole way of getting the clip off my phone onto my computer and then uploaded. But it was really annoying because if it would have been any other clip in the video I'd been like, you know, just, just clip it out but an intro clip is like the intro clip. So that's why my videos have slowed down a little bit. It's because I've been having issues with 
iMovie and issues moving videos from my phone to the computer successfully. And I think it's probably a little bit of like age. Um, I'm hoping I did a reboot after I cleared off the storage. So I'm hoping this video comes together a little bit smoother, but we'll see when we get there. Anyways, fold in laundry, and then I'm gonna make a little breakfast for family, and then I will share with you guys my food prepping throughout today. Okay, a random weird flex of mine is fashion from Goodwill and only buying things that are 50% off. So it's like a super deal. I found Christmas pajamas I absolutely adore. They were new on the hanger. They were red tag day. So originally they were $8 and I got them for four. I'm gonna show it to you guys. Put you guys up on my fireplace. So it says Mary, brand new. These are the softest pants and they have pockets. I mean, $4. Hello. This makes me feel merry. I was thinking about this. If you were a friend that I invited into my home, I would show you what else I found when I thrifted for outfits. So give me a second. Am I pulling this out of the dirty hands first? Yes, because I wore it yesterday and I got so many compliments on it. I forgot you guys are over here, not over here, because my phone's the opposite direction. Okay, this dress was made in Mexico. I grabbed it because I thought it'd be perfect for Thanksgiving, although I don't know that I'm going to have it washed and dried for tomorrow, so it's just perfect for fall. <sighs> Look at this print. And like these white bits right here are raised like splattered paint on it and it is this long dress yesterday i wore it with a blazer that was this like cream color and i have shoes that color and i got so many compliments and this dress was a whopping three dollars and fifty cents i mean hello there's no way you would pay that inside of a store and it's in immaculate condition so I got this <clears throat> because I'm a size 14 and my body shape has a bigger stomach um, I tend to like to look at 1x tops a lot of times they don't work out for me because I don't have bigger arms or bigger bust but every now and then I find a shirt that's kind of more loose and flowy and it feels like it gives me the illusion of of being less weight because of the way that the clothes hang. Anyways, I found this Lane Bryant top. It is a size 1820, so it's definitely bigger, but I love it. It's like this blush pink sheer, and then it has this really cool black stitching, and I wore it tucked in with a black pencil, yeah, black pencil skirt, and I got so many compliments on how nice I looked. This was the most expensive thing. It was $14, but it was red tag, so I got it for seven. And I'm gonna wear it until I am over it. And I really liked it. I was unsure because I'm fair skinned that this was gonna be like too close to my skin tone. The sliding was everything, um, but it was fine. It's totally cute. And especially when I get my makeup all done, it, it looks super, super cute. So this was another find. I got myself a basic shirt. I've found that dark green is one of my power colors. It goes really well with my skin tone. And so I'm gonna try and add more of the shade in my closet. So that way I have similar shades and I can kind of make a wardrobe out of it. Anyways, this was $2 and there's no stains on it. It is the perfect fit and I can use it as a layering piece. So that's why I got this. That is from No Boundaries. And then I found this top. It's also 1X by a brand called Molly and Isadora. And it is a sleeveless denim top. And I'm imagining this layered. 
So I'll have some sort of sweater or something over it and then I can wear it with black leggings. And I really, really like the cut of it. The buttons on it are um, nice, simple little buttons and it has no billowing across the front. And so this is kind of a layering piece. I might put a long sleeve shirt under it. I might even try and style it with that green shirt somehow, but I really love having denim in my wardrobe. And even though it's not denim, it looks denim. And I just, I love it. It's so cute. And I don't know if I set the price, but this one would have been $4. Not bad. The last top I'm unsure of still, but it would have been $3.50. And it is this basic white, what size? Extra, extra large and brand is unknown, but it is a basic white top. It's got these beautiful sleeves, which this is kind of the part I'm unsure about because I feel like they might like, I don't know, come off the shoulders weird. But I was imagining, imagining this tucked into either work pants or skirts. So, and there's no stains. There's zero things wrong with this. There's not even an armpit stain. So I feel like whoever owned this before just never wore it. And I'm, I'm good with that because I will. <laughs> and that's it. When I went, I don't even know. I, I barely spent any money and I feel really good about it. New Christmas pajamas, a new dress, and one, two, three, four new shirts. And I think I spent under $20 for it. Or maybe like around $20. But I think it was under $20. Hello? Why are you thrifting? That's my question. Why aren't you? Okay, I bought five dozen eggs because I thought the price per this size um, was going to be the best idea to make a bunch of deviled eggs. I think I'm going to do 30, which means end up being 60 deviled eggs in a tray thing because I know we'll eat a few of them the following day. And then I put all the rest that was in here in a egg carton in the fridge so we'll have just normal eggs for the next couple of weeks and then i decided i'll also boil these and i'm gonna put them in a bowl and they can be part of like meal prep meals because you know after thanksgiving happens i'm gonna get back to my calorie deficient ways because i haven't been getting my booty to the gym because I haven't been up to it. <laughs> so, having boiled eggs is really good for me because they fill me up and they're easy. I need to go talk to my oldest kid. He's, he's raging in his room and we just, we can't have that today, you know? My eggs got about six minutes of boiling before I could pull them off the stove. I usually will boil them for 13 minutes, pull them off and put them in an ice bath and they seem fine to me. Not too overcooked, they're just, they're good. <laughs> Anyways, I was sitting here thinking, um, I've, I've, I've been in the practice and I am trying to learn how to be better about it with slow living where you dial down the things that you commit yourself to and you practice more mindful things 
whether it be quiet time with candles or um, journaling or editing a YouTube video, um, it could be reading, I mean, whatever mindful, quiet practice, it could even be exercise, um, trying to implement that into my life. But some days it fills my cup and it feels like I just did the best thing I could have done for myself. Other days, it overwhelms me to relax, and it's not because necessarily I feel like I have a lot to do, because I have been dialing back and staying more on top of like general things, but it's more of I don't know what to do with myself, and it's almost like I get too far in my head and almost feel overwhelmed with not knowing what to do with myself and in those times I need to figure out what to do like what do I do that's fulfilling if I feel like just sitting and being in quiet is overwhelming um sometimes what I've been doing is leaving the house and going thrifting and then that fills my cup but I can't I can't keep thrifting because then I'll be bringing more stuff into my home and I'm very much in and out. Like if I'm bringing things in, I want to take things out. I was okay with thrifting for clothes because I had just donated things that I just didn't feel confident in anymore. I did for a minute and then I'm like, nope, I'm over this. Um, so I felt good about that and also um, because I haven't been exercising and my weight has gone back up, the things that I was wearing just weren't fitting the right way anymore. And so I was needing to switch out a few things. But anyways, I just wanted to talk about that to see if other people struggle with that. If you practice slow living and how you do with that and how you do with routine, I tend to thrive in the excitement of change, but I have a hard time remaining um, content in routine. I might like it for a few weeks and then I feel overwhelmed. So I just want to know if you guys deal with that too and what is that? I feel like I always have social media like cramming ideas in my head like oh you're ADD, you're ADHD, oh you, I can't remember the other thing that made me like question because I do X, Y, and Z but I don't know. Anyways, that's something that I've kind of been dealing with and struggling with. And then I'll go back into old practices of being back on my phone a lot, which sometimes is fine. And sometimes that overstimulates me and makes me feel um, like I wasted time. So I don't know. I'm just in this weird transition era, I feel, where I'm, I'm stuck. I know what feels good. It just doesn't feel good all the time. I don't know what to do with that. So I wanted to sit down and talk about that and share it because I don't know if you guys have anything similar where that's hard for you or if you've already gone through something like this where you slowed down your living and you figured things out. What did you do? Like, how did you figure that out? <laughs> I guess I'm, I'm lost. Anyways, my eggs are about done boiling. I gotta go put it in an ice bath. All right, this is what I'm making for one of the desserts. I'm going light because I know everybody will be super full. And I learned about this dessert through Mandy in the making. Um, she came up on my feed. I'm actually gonna be making this, a fruit salad and... Um, trying to think this a fruit salad and some sweet carrots that she showed because they were all pretty easy and the ingredients are pretty easy um i'll probably go back and look at these tips before i make it but the ingredients are really simple you melt some marshmallows you add some pumpkin cinnamon pumpkin pie spice you fold in your cool whip and you put it in a graham cracker crust put it in the fridge. So I'm going to go ahead and make the two pies and get them in the fridge. 
Okay. I took a look at the tips and it said to go low and slow with these marshmallows so they don't burn. And after everything is melted and mixed together, it has to cool at room temperature for at least 30 minutes. And the best way to do that is to put it in a separate bowl. So we're gonna follow those tips. Hi, kiddo. I'll put everything else in here. Ready to melt the marshmallows first? Nope, I can put all of this in. I'm sure you are. You're always hungry. This is the pie. Why do you have marshmallows? Because it's part of the pie. Those marshmallows are old. Uh-uh, I just got them. Oh. I threw away the old ones. Okay, I'm just going to mix until we have smooth pie consistency. Okay, the last bit of marshmallow mixed in here. Make sure I got all the flavoring from the sides. Pull this off stove and let it cool down. Okay, while the pumpkin pie is cooling and the eggs are in the fridge, I've arrived to Mari Villa's bakery in high hopes we find a Trace Leches cake. If you've never had one, please try one. And I brought a little buddy. Hi. <laughs> Why did Daddy have What did you get? Oh, my beautiful perfection. Okay, tell us how good it is. It's good. <laughs> Back home, and I wanted to share with you guys what I got. They make this like uh, beautiful bread with cream cheese and jalapeno in it. So good. Mmm. I split it with Ryan, but it might be too spicy for him. The first Thanksgiving and hopefully only accident, these stupid foil pans aren't to be messed with. Okay, this is where we're at. This is room temperature. These are no longer frozen, so we're gonna add them in. I literally almost got a fresh spoon. That's dumb. Why would I do that? Ooh, yeah.
ahead, I'm gonna sample this. Just to make sure. Yes, when this is cold, this is gonna be great. And I'm being quiet because my husband's working from home today. Silly goose. Okay, I'm gonna sit here and peel 30 of these eggs, put them in here, and wear some headphones and watch some YouTube while I do that. I can't really sh like show you guys doing that because I, I have video on my phone, but I just want to let you guys know, I'm going to do this nice and slow and easy. Enjoy myself a little and try and not cut my fingers anymore on sharp things. <laughs> I don't know what my husband's playing out here, but it's, it's hitting. <laughs> okay, you have two choices in life. You can look at this and see that making deviled eggs is going to be impossible. Or you can see this as an opportunity to do something different. And that's, that's the road we're taking. So... After I peeled my fourth egg and it was going terribly wrong, I said, okay, clearly we're not making deviled eggs traditionally because that's just not what these eggs had in plan for me. So instead, I'm going to make deviled egg dip, which essentially you put 12 eggs, one, four, four, three, into your food processor and you chop them up finely and then you're gonna mix in mayo, mustard, paprika, chives and you're gonna make a deviled egg dip and it's gonna be just fine. See, we're gonna be just fine. We gonna be just fine. Kiki's gonna disappear. Wait. See? Where'd she go? Kiki? Where are you, Kiki? She's actually right here. literally looking at these potatoes and questioning if they're going to be enough. It's eight pounds of potatoes, but it seemed like a lot in the bag. And now that I have them on here, I'm like, uh, is it going to be enough potatoes? Anyways, if you guys ever see this potato brush in the store, get it. It's like so ergonomically nice to clean potatoes with. So highly recommend. You could probably find these at like Marshalls or something. I found mine at a local grocery store, but I know I've seen this brand at Marshalls and TJ Maxx. I am currently on my way to get some Mexican food for dinner. I am starting to feel sore and achy, and I know it is because of my period. <laughs> Dang it. I wish I hadn't started yet, but I'm aching in places that I shouldn't be aching for standing in the kitchen. So my goal now tonight is to finish those potatoes. Um, I took them off the burner and they're sitting in hot water. They were starting to get soft so I know that they'll be just right after I'm done eating dinner. I'll pre-mash those babies up and then I really want to make the Rice Krispies tonight as well and after um, those two things are done. I'm going to call it quits. I was thinking about it, you know, tomorrow's going to involve mostly cutting, like cutting up vegetables for 
the um, veggie tray and cutting up the fruit for the fruit salad and um, like prepping the green beans, which involves cutting them and cleaning them. And I'll have some extra hands available around the kitchen that I'm sure are gonna be wanting to help. So it'll be good for everyone if I don't try and do it all. So that's the plan. I'm gonna get some delicious dinner. I don't know what I'm gonna pick yet, but there is a local little uh, taco Mexican chain called Victorico's, um, and they make pretty solid um, Mexican food. Not super authentic, I would say it's it's kind of got more of an American twist to everything, um, but it's good. It's totally good. Um, so we'll see what I pick because I don't really know. I'm kind of craving a salad actually, so I'll see maybe if they have a taco salad or something like that for me to eat. I don't know if you saw me raise my eyebrows because I realize in order to film in the dark, I need to use my back camera on my phone so that it's not so grainy, but I have no idea if you guys are like zoomed in on my forehead right now or what. It'll be a surprise when I edit, I guess. <laughs> mm. <coughs> I have plenty of potatoes. I freaked out for no reason. <laughs> okay, potatoes are mashed. I'm now moving on to making the trays of Rice Krispie treats, which is literally butter, marshmallows, and Rice Krispies. Somebody told me I could toast these and it changes the flavor a little bit, makes them better, but you know, <laughs> I think classic is just fine. Well, our house is quiet again. I took zero pictures. <laughs> um, I was going to take pictures and all of that of everything, but something prompted me to be present instead. And also acknowledging that people aren't comfortable being put, um, out there like I am so that is why I decided to not video but we had a wonderful time you guys we had so much food in the house that I still have so much food in the house and now it's just the four of us again so I was gonna start my calorie deficient stuff today but I actually think I'm just gonna start it fresh probably Monday so that way we can eat through some of the food that we purchased and we're not wasteful, as wasteful. I'm sure I'll still throw some things away. Um, but yeah, it was really good. Uh, we ended up setting up a long table that seated 14 of us in our garage and it was perfect. We had just enough tables and chairs and the food all turned out great. My turkey was juicy. Um, I don't think that, I think the only thing I honestly would have done differently that I can think of is I made a green bean casserole and I used fresh green beans and I should have used canned. I think that would have been a better consistency, but other than that, like all the food turned out great. Um, I made <laughs> actually two things. I made, um, some sweetened like candied carrots and I should have started them sooner so they still had bite in the middle of them so I um put those those didn't even come out <laughs> they're still they're still sitting in the crock pot I think so anyways other than that I had a great time it was nice bringing a little bit of my family and a little bit of Ryan's family together for the evening. Oh, look at these grays. They're just shining. Anyways, it was just, it was really nice. And I love having our house full of people. Um, 
but now we're like in that quiet stage and we're ready to do Christmas. I've got my Christmas jammies on. Um, and I think I'm gonna do a lot of relaxing today. There was a lot of work put in between Ryan and I to host Thanksgiving and it, it went really well. Last night I was so toast though. Um, I'm on my period and my body just physically hurts and I get headaches. So I had to kind of get through that this week, this last couple of days specifically. Um, so by the time, um, dinner was over and some people had left, I laid down in bed and I was like, I can't even get back up. I had my heating blanket on my back and it felt so good and I crashed. I'm glad I did that though because I feel like I feel a little better today. But anyways, it was a good Thanksgiving. I hope that you guys had a great Thanksgiving. We're going to kick off Christmas tonight um, as a little family to walk through the Oregon lights uh, just to kind of get our Christmas spirit going. Um, tomorrow, we're going to bring down the Christmas decor and decorate the inside and outside of the house over the weekend. And yeah, I'm looking forward to it. But anyways, I hope that you guys again had a great holiday and um i'm gonna i'm gonna go take a shower and start the day sorry about that i needed to sneeze <laughs> i hope that you guys are having a great one and i will see you in the next video take care and love always bye what are you doing here still that's despicable get out of here